Hello and welcome. I think skills in assertiveness, how to build that assertiveness is also a skill because we on a scale of 1 to 10 we might be 4, 3, 2 and we need that sensitization over a period of time to maybe understand that this is a, this is purely a skill and this can be honed, this can be mastered and brought to a level and upscale it to maybe 6, 7, 8, 9 if not 10 at least but we should aim at identifying our assertiveness so let's try and understand as to what assertiveness is as a skill is and try and define it with tips and examples so here we are having meaningful productive and positive interactions at work can help you enjoy more effective team building leadership and collaboration Assertiveness is a confident, respectful demeanor that allows you to communicate effectively with others. Practicing assertive communication can improve your interactions in any workplace. This particular shoot provides tips and information to help you act assertively in professional situations. What are assertiveness skills? Assertiveness skills are communication strategies that convey information and ideas in an open and direct way while maintaining respect for those you are speaking with. Assertiveness allows you to profess and defend your claims, ideas and decisions in a calm but powerful manner. Assertive communication is ideal for many workplace communications as it is stronger and more effective than passive communication and more polite and considerate than aggressive communication. Examples of assertiveness skills When you are assertive, you are able to communicate successfully with others and convey your message correctly. These skills are key aspects of assertiveness. Respect number one, an assertive approach is respectful. This communication allows you to share your thoughts and feelings while offering consideration for others. Offer respect by listening patiently to others' opinions, carefully considering their viewpoints and recognizing the validity of their thoughts even when they are different from your own. Number two, openness. Assertive communication is open, meaning that you readily answer questions, offer all relevant information, and provide supporting details as requested. In open communication, you would share your research with others on your team or offer your opinions promptly when asked. Honesty. Honesty is crucial for direct, accurate communication. Those who have mastered professional assertiveness maintain a high sense of integrity in their dealings. In the workplace, this means offering your thoughts when doing so is appropriate and productive. Number three, accountability. An assertive approach is one that stands up for your own rights and the rights of others. To do this, take personal responsibility for your actions and stay accountable for what you have said or done. This means that you will tell others when a workplace error results from your miscalculation and take charge of the efforts to remedy this issue. Number four, self-control. Self-control allows you to maintain assertiveness in a calm and respectful way. Using your self-control will help you stay assertive rather than aggressive so you can communicate without offending others. When confronted with an unhappy client, for example, self-control helps you to respond patiently and politely so you can resolve the issue in the best way possible. Number fifth, delegation. Delegation is the ability to assign tasks to others when appropriate. The ability to delegate separates assertive communication from passive communication. By delegating, you can divide responsibility appropriately. When tasked with a large project, you might delegate several of the tasks to others. 
selecting team members whose skills and expertise are best suited to each step so the finished product is as strong as it can be. So how to improve assertiveness skills? Focusing on your assertiveness skills could help you find the ideal compromise between the extremes of aggressiveness or passivity. Try these tips to communicate assertively. First, assess your personal communication style. Watch for signs you are acting aggressively or passively. Recognizing opportunities for improvement helps you see where you can start practicing assertiveness. Number two, practice your delivery. Script important communications ahead of time and practice with a friend or co-worker to make sure your message is direct yet respectful. Ask for feedback that will help you improve your communications for future interactions. Practicing common interactions ahead of time prepares you to respond effectively when you face them on the job. Number three, share your thoughts. Speak up when you have something to say. Openly provide your opinions and ideas so you are contributing readily to workplace decisions. Number four, use confident body language. Stand straight and keep your arms at your side or in your lap rather than crossed across your chest. Make eye contact with the person you're speaking to or look at a point between their eyebrows if this is more comfortable for you. Number fifth, maintain control of your emotions. Practice even breathing and keeping your voice steady. Stay calm in confrontations and implement stress management techniques such as regular workouts, meditation or journaling to help you maintain a peaceful demeanor. Number six, practice emotional intelligence. There are some scenarios in which assertive communications may not be appropriate. For example, if you are dealing with a sensitive colleague who needs you to listen at the moment to diffuse a situation, it may be best to let your assertive communication skills take a back seat for that conversation. Assertiveness skills in the workplace. Assertiveness is highly valued in the professional environment. Assertive individuals are strong communicators and natural leaders. Developing assertiveness techniques will improve your workplace performance and help you communicate more effectively in any situation. Try these, these tips to act more assertively at your job. Number one, set professional boundaries. Maintain a healthy work-life balance by knowing what a manageable workload is for you and politely but firmly turning down projects that cross those boundaries. Two, listen politely. Assertive communication can be as much about listening as speaking. Practice focusing on others so you can offer a response that upholds their rights and your own. Make clear detailed requests. Your statements and questions should be clear and direct. Make sure others understand your expectations before concluding the conversation. For example, you could tell your teammate, I will need a four page marketing report by close of business today rather than try to get me that report when you can. Next, seek out opportunities for collaboration. Look for efficient ways to delegate tasks to others and opportunities where you can take over the aspects of a project that you are best suited to. Working cooperatively with others is an essential part of assertive communication. Highlighting assertiveness skills during the job search. Assertiveness skills are important in the workplace as they equip employees to communicate clearly and maintain positive professional relationships with those around them. Here are two ways to highlight your ability to communicate assertively as you are seeking employment. Assertiveness skills for the resume. Example assertiveness skills. Example job responsibilities. Assertiveness skills for the job interview. Example interview questions. Number one, assertiveness skills for the resume. Highlight your assertiveness on your resume by including relevant supporting skills in the skills section. This may include self-motivation, strong communication skills, and the ability to delegate. As you are describing your job responsibilities, emphasize ways you have acted assertively. Mention any times when you have been in a leadership role. Assign tasks to others or resolve disputes. 
Hiring managers can recognize assertive applicants from their ability to write directly and confidently about their value and accomplishments. Example, assertiveness skills. Here is a list of assertiveness skills you can use on your resume. Verbal and written communication. Self-startup. Delegation skills. Leadership. Conflict management. Collaboration. Active listening. Problem solving. Team building. Example, job responsibilities. Here are some examples of how assertiveness skills could be included in the job responsibilities on your resume. Utilized strong leadership skills to motivate my team to increase sales by 15% despite the fact that many of us were new. Through my ability to motivate the team and delegate effectively, we consistently met or exceeded deadlines. Developed relationships across multi departments and collaborated to bring a new product to the market in just 30 days. Utilized active listening while coaching team members in order to resolve problems and empower them with the knowledge and skills to reach their goals. Assertiveness skills for the job interview. Assertive communication is clear, direct and easy to understand. Practice for your interview with a friend or a family member to make sure you are presenting your qualifications in a way that's polite and easy to understand. A firm handshake, strong posture, good eye contact and pleasant demeanor demonstrates your assertiveness skills. Speak openly about your achievements and challenges in the interview. Maintain a respectful attitude towards past employers regardless of how the job ended. When discussing conflicts or problem solving, validate both sides of the issue before explaining how you resolved it. Example interview questions. Interviewers sometimes ask questions that gauge your level of assertiveness and how effectively you apply it in interaction with others. Here is an example of what they could look like. Give me an example of a time you had to give feedback and direction to a member of your team. How did you go about it? Now the answer to it is, we had a sales rep who was struggling to meet her quota each month. I asked her to come to my office and told her I noticed she was having some trouble and wanted to help her be more successful. I let her know that I understand the role can be challenging in the beginning but that I thought with some changes to her sales process, we could get her sales up in no time. I then suggested a three-step sales strategy that she said she hadn't tried. I suggested we meet back weekly to monitor progress and make any changes based on how it was going. The most important part of any answer testing assertiveness skills is that you show that you gave firm, clear direction. It is also important to show some concern for the other person's feelings to avoid appearing aggressive. Show that you were calm while giving your instruction with no other emotional reaction such as anger or anxiety. So what an exhaustive explanation on how to be assertive and maybe on assertiveness skills because this is something which puts you as positive. Which builds your brand and the great image of professionalism that is required desired for any candidate to grow maybe as a top manager so best wishes in grooming yourself assertiveness skills thank you